The question was, Bonga Ganan. When what happened? When this song was when this song Yo, came out. Oh, I don't even know. I mean, how I don't know, how old is it? Um, sure. I, high I actually I actually don't know, but high school. High, high school. school. So this song reminds me a lot of my brother. My brother's late, but he loved Trompis. Yeah. And you know, just quite door back in the day. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. just it just always takes me back to those years. Osali Gailung Kwan. Gailung Kwan. Yo. <laughs> you just, oh my goodness. No one's ever called me that in Yeah. Oh, yo. Yeah, it's been a minute. Gail Nguani. The, la- the last time you were here, you were still Gail Nguani. Yes, I was. You, this is even before you could say I do. Yes. Before yes. the babies. Yo, it's a lifetime ago. Yeah? It feels like, I mean, it's, it's, it's only eight years, but it feels like, it feels like, I, I don't even know that person. I don't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. do know so it's... That's amazing. But you don't look a day past that day. Well, thank you very much. I'll take it and run with a compliment. Thank no. you. <laughs> 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 like, man. <laughs> no, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do Yeah, once. <laughs> and I get my, my, my dose regularly. So So you do drive there? Yeah, I know. Home is, home is home. I mean... How often do you go? I, tr- I'm not, I don't go as often as I used to now with kids and everything, but... I mean, every chance I get, like even this weekend, I'm thinking maybe I'll just quickly tomorrow. What and do you mean quickly? Back. Just quickly That's go far. and come back. I so mean, you fly? No, I drive. What? Yeah. I drove there once. Why? But like, yeah. like, like driving is so therapeutic and, you know, you get to. No, then you love driving. I love driving. Look, yeah. it's a different story with kids, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, if you leave at 5 a.m., I buy. Well, by the time lunchtime hits you, I tell in. the same story all the time about driving to Tlaxdop, uh, to, to Kimberley. Just getting out of Tlaxdop, that board, ne? <laughs> Airing Kimberley 400 Ks. Yes, it's a it's a punch on the stomach. Well, yeah? I mean, if you were if you got a board outside of Joburg, it would say 600. So at least, you know, by the time you got to Tlaxdop, at least it was... Man, at least Tlaxdop is going to be man. No, we're going to start halfway. So from Tlaxdop, we're going to start and then you're halfway. Let's go, guys. Yes, we're going to start. Gail Mabalan is my guest and this is my top 10 at 10 and we'll open up with Trumpy's Benging Gaga. Now, you hear, right? Yes. And this is some drunk uncle. Mm. Chibi, chibi, chibi. Maybe when you know me, said that you Google or something. They were here and also an also an allegale young. Mm. Also an allegale. Oh, oh, shh, shh. Kill, kill, kill. Meaning you have a half sibling somewhere. How far would you go to find out? Would you? A half sibling now in my life, I would. Yeah? Yeah. I totally would. I mean, phew, how far I would go. I'm a family person. Ne? Yeah. I love family. Yeah. I love extended family. Yeah. I love the idea of our kids growing up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost my brother when I was 21. So at the moment I have my sister and yeah. we have a, a brother, a half brother. Okay. Who's older than us. So the more the merrier. I would actually... How did you find out about the half brother? Did you know already? Yes, I knew about ah, it. Ah, yes. okay. So, I mean, he, he came before my parents got married. So, okay, yeah, okay. we knew about him. But So um, that was declared? It was declared from the very beginning. <laughs> it's part you of know. the registry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ronaldo no, no, brought forward. We've got, yes, we've ticked <laughs> that one. But I would, I think I would. And and because both my parents are late, uh, I think I would want to get to know an extended oh, piece child-headed households. <laughs> it's us, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I ask this because that's what blood and water is about. Yes. That's the story, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, you as a daughter, yes, you said you would, but as a mother, and you find out your daughter is doing this without you knowing? Look, I mean, as Gail, it's another story, but from Tandeka's perspective, yes. she has spent 17 years looking. seven. So she wants to find this child. And as much as her daughter is not going about it the right way, yeah, 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 doing yeah. the right things, but the bottom line, can we find this child or at yeah. least find out what happened to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, there's an element of why would you put us through this? But at, at the same time, it's like, yo, please help because I need to find this child. But is Tandega finding out because the husband declared? Declared what? Hore, they might be. I mean, Tandeka... An extension. Tandeka, I would imagine the child was abducted at birth. 
and you don't know what's happened to this child. You don't know mm. where they are. You don't know if they're okay. You'd want to know. Every year she has birthday parties for this child. Every year on the birthday she celebrates. It's a big do. We celebrate the child's birthday. So uh, Tandeka wants to find her child, but I think underneath that there's a lot of other stuff happening. Mm. But there is a desperation to find her child like any mother would. And like a daughter would as well to say... And that's the thing about the connection between daughter and mother, isn't it? Mm. That you kind of sense, sorry, you know what, maybe I should be the solution to this problem. Yeah, because you can see that for 17 years, this has been a problem in your family. You know, you, 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 poor Puleng, uh, who all her life was playing second fiddle, really, to, to this to this child who's not even in the family. Yeah, because really, um, instead of getting 100% love, yeah. I'm getting bits of it because there's a sister missing. And also there was a part of you not, her feeling that she's not good enough because there's this older sister that, that you can't live up to, but we don't even know who she is and mm. we don't even know how she is. And what is the standard? What's the standard? At least in Nangawali, they say. Exactly, you know? exactly. So Mwana Mudimu Shame, I think she's also trying to solve the problem for her parents, but also for herself. Like, can I find closure so that I can be seen? Because she's not seen, or at least she feels like she's not. Because Honali, this this child that's been yeah. that, that that you know she has to live through, you know. I, it's amazing how art will imitate life and vice versa. Mm. That here you now you are a mother and you're raising a daughter, right? Do you sometimes shield her from trying to fight your battles? Because sometimes you oh, know how yes. that's the thing. Like like. You you under hey when we got this algorithm when did this software <laughs> land on you to know her right now yes because they sometimes do that isn't yes. it no absolutely I mean yesterday I took my daughter to get her she had to get fillings but they had to put her under and then on our way there I was a bit stressed and yeah. she says to me she's six and I'm on that shame are you are you okay are you stressed I'm like why would I be stressed this is a six year old she's like she's maybe because it. yeah she's like maybe because I'm going to get an injection she doesn't know she's going to be put under but maybe because I'm going to get an injection you look stressed I'm like yo are you family you you let's play some music you know because I don't want her to carry that so I can't imagine now something as big as wanting to find your sibling because you want to solve a problem Let's talk about Gail and her mom because your mom was very instrumental yeah. in bringing out the this talent that we now enjoy. Mm. I mean, she started you with what, Miss Tinkerbell? Miss Tinkerbell yeah. at five, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So let's start there. I mean, um, your relationship there, are you seeing your daughter in yourself in mm. relation to your mom? Mm, I do. And I think it's it's so interesting because I think my mother at five, she could see. And I look at my daughter and I can see. And part of me yeah. is like, no, no, <laughs> no, you know, uh, you know. But at the same time, um, I, I can see how my mom, before I became a mother, I was like, how did she know? Yeah. And I felt like this was her uh, contribution because now it's been 16 years since she's been gone. Mm. So, but it was her contribution to who I am today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can see now with my daughter that, okay, so at five, you can tell. But sure. I think I was also very shy and... Very reserved. I still am. Yeah, very yeah, shy, yeah, very yeah, reserved. Yeah, yeah. So that was just ways of getting me to yeah, come yeah, yeah. out of my shell. But how was she as a person? Was she also uh, shy or was she more of an no, outgoing person? No, my mom was very reserved. So who's the little mom? My dad. You're the clown of the family. <laughs> my dad, definitely. Well, also, I'm actually, my. I think from a, from a, from a performance perspective, um, it allows me to step into that character, but I wasn't, I'm not like that in my yeah, day-to-day yeah, life. Yeah, I'm yeah, not like... Yeah. Hey, hey get now. I know, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not me, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's the Capricorn. Yes, <laughs> yes. Very calculated. Yeah, yes. yeah. We only, we only show who our true colors to the people we trust. We are, absolutely. And those are the ones who really, 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 really know. know. And the circle is this is, small. Is ah, that a small, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I have the same friends I've had my like my 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 shortest shortest friendship is ten years. Sure. Like, but I have the same friends. Yeah. I haven't I haven't changed them from high school. From but but, but your 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 heart still breaks from that ten year because you're like why we are guy because mm. we're supposed to be you know mm. what I mean. 
Mm. We go for long-term relations, mm. not short-term relations. No, no. And we invest in each other, so to speak, you know. Absolutely. Um, if I invest time in you, uh, there's a lot that I'm gaining from you yes. too. So it's a mutual thing. No, absolutely. Because that's what we look out for, you know. It's all about relationship. All there, that mutualism. No point. Yeah, yeah. There's no yeah. point in, in life without relationship. So but, mom was outgoing? No, very, no, mom was very chilled. We, like me, like we'd see, hey, mommy. Not like me. My dad, my dad did enough for the whole family. <laughs> Outgoing, you know, enough, uh, sipping on something, enough yeah, for yeah, all yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, he yeah. was like carrying us in that regard. But Kaufela Rona, my sister's a lot more like my dad, I think. Mm. Um, she's a very outgoing personality. Mm. Um, now, on the other hand, I know I'm... Who's the chief whip in the family? And the chief whip is the one who calls everybody else to order. In my family now, yeah. or my mom, my parents. No, no, no. Take me. I'm. How can I How can I Well, I mean, there's the head, and then there's the neck. Who really? Who really <laughs> is the chief whip? <laughs> there's a head, but who? What moves the head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just. I'll leave w it at that. W w would 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 your sister be the neck? No. Are what you is? are you the neck? You mean Honano? Hey, well. I'm talking about. Go take me. Let's say Honali Tiro go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hotu, eh? I, I think I didn't think giving Halibut yes. Zadiba Zamayi. Yes. Um, will things happen without Gail, or Gail must be there? And when Gail has feet, had you listened to my pila, things must change. What's no, happening? I think I think my sister and I have managed to. She's four years younger than me, so because both our parents are late and my brother's late, we've managed to really build a very solid. So okay, fifty fifty. It won't happen without me. It won't. Happen. I mean, we we had the unveiling of our tomb, the tombstones for my parents and my brother, mm. and it wouldn't happen with either one of us. Mm. And mm. the two of us are like together. Yeah. So fifty, we are both heads and necks depending on what the responsibility is. Let's take it back to blood and water. Yes. By the way, if you just tuned in, the voice you're hearing is Gail Mabalane, um, the lady that plays Tandega on Blood and Water. Yes. Netflix. That's the reason I watched it, because I was like, ah, Gail is on it. Let's watch it. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, um, uh, my daughter, Palisa, yes. was watching it. And then my wife joined in. And I find them like, engrossed, and I'm like, eh, "What are you watching?" But not blood and water. This new series, and apparently it was it happened at UCT. Yes, and she was at UCT. Oh, so, so yes. she she knows the time, and she was part of that, the whole SRC slash boarding whatever oh. committee. So she kind of knew what was going on. And then I'm like, okay, who's in it? So they mention names, and then they say Gail. I was like, oh, for Gail, I'll sit. <laughs> so I started watching it from there. Thank you. <clears throat> How much of that story? becomes fluid you know what i mean mm. sometimes there's a script yes mm. but there's some fluidity i think directors and producers will certainly allow why because gail the person who plays tandega says but this is not genuine i think we'd rather take it this way mm. sort of to give mm. give the storyline a bit of a you know mm. a tinge mm. to kind of make it more real yes i mean how much of that happens I mean, the, look, we are blessed to work with an incredible team of writers and directors who mm. know what they're doing and who know what the story is they want to tell, and they and it's clear. So you don't you don't have to figure it out. And it's beautifully take. shot. The cast it is beautifully Ooh. shot. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 season two. Whew, I can't wait for everyone to see it. And yeah. I, I think there was a lot of nerves for all of us to how how because we set the bar so high. Can we? Yeah, Can and that's the whole, that's the that's the whole thing, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? We get so nervous for season yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, the, the the story is beautifully written. The directors are incredible. Everyone comes and brings their what what is really cool though with um, how it's shot is everyone's allowed to bring their own character to life. Like you know, or Tandeka also, so you yeah. bring Tandeka to life, and we are responsible for the characters we have to bring to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just play off each other, and the, the directors allow us that as long as it obviously stays within. Where the story is going? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. How are you? How how much as a professional actress? And and I'm using professional here to show um, what it means to play that mm. character. But at the same time, I want to say human. Mm. Mm. How much of your personal experiences um, do you sometimes find yourself bringing in? Oof. Maybe in the words you use. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, I don't think you you. I think. That's what makes acting so much fun is you get to experience things and put them in a keist somewhere in your emotions or somewhere that you can go and pull out when you need to. And it's not even so much a personal experience. It's the feeling of the personal experience. Oh, okay. uh, it's not so much, oh, I lost my mother. How? Do, oh, oh, I was so sad. It's yeah, more yeah. like, 
what does it feel like to lose a mother? What does it feel like to experience That's loss? That's what I respect about actors to, to and actresses. To experience g- grief. To, what does it feel <sighs> to like? tap into that. And then what? tapping into that. But it's not so much like, oh, let me remember what when I buried my mom. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. more, this is, it feels like I can't breathe. It feels like I'm losing my breath. It feels like an emptiness in my stomach. It, and that is what you, what you bring to life. So, and I think sure. the directors are really in- incredible for Blood and Water. They've allowed us to, you know, they allow us to bring all of that to life. They have to be present. All the time. Oh, More. yeah. And the thing is with us, we, you're just present for your character. Yes. They have to be present with every single and character. And mood. Every single character's journey. Like, okay, you are, there's four of us in the scene, but they must know what all four is going through and where they're coming That's from. That's incredible because I can imagine what you just explained now when you say uh, you're losing your breath. Yeah. To a director would be cut or wait, this is a moment. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <sighs> absolutely. Were you able to continue shooting the way you did, even in COVID times? No. Oh, COVID was, oh, it wasn't fun. I mean, first of all, we get tested regularly, you know, um, every day or every week, uh, especially for us because we work without masks. Yes. Um, So the regular testing and then we shot in Cape Town and the back and forth. Well, I limited my back and forth, but I still have a family. So, Yay. But every time you go, you, 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 you test. Every time you come back, you test. There's added anxiety. You're like, yo, mm. the family, the... Mm. And, and just the interaction. And I mean, even having to stop, start, because maybe there was a scare. Oh, let's wait. Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you stop, then you go again. And you, you, you went through it with your husband. Yes. So you know. I know. Oh. I know. In fact, I think I had it twice. I just, the second time I was like, we're just isolating. I get testy because there's something that happens psychologically when you get that and it's positive a psychological test. Battle. It's a men- mental battle. So I was like, no, we're not testing today. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just isolate and and. You know what made me survive <clears throat> the the anxiety of COVID? Please tell me <laughs> what your husband said mm. when you guys did that video. Mm. And it's funny; it's not profound. Trust me, but what he said actually made me survive all of these waves, all the anxieties. He just said, make sure there's Panado in the house. <laughs> Never underestimate the power wow. of Panado. That! <laughs> wow. Do you know how accessible Panado is? It's very accessible. Do you see how empowering that statement is now? Wow. Wow. Just by him saying that, I was like, <laughs> Cabello, <laughs> oh, fedice. I, I I remember he made the Panado statement because he's he's not a, he doesn't like tablets, yeah. so he had like a forty one degree temperature, and then he's like, no, I give it to just give me water. I'm like, dude, your temperature three days, it's it's not coming yeah, down. Yeah. What do we, you know? Eventually, he's like, okay, let me try the Panado, and boom, it broke the fever. So I think that wow. um, I think that for him is more profound than for anyone else. But that's 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 interesting. Panado, you better do something with Buga Two Shoes. That much I tell you. Let's go for a break. We're coming back to talking about loss. Oh, oh my goodness. This song again reminds me of my dad. It reminds me of the times we're living in. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Let's start building. Yeah, no, Let's we need building. to. Yeah. No, no, we need to recover. Yeah. Very quickly. Yes, we do. So I don't know, pop idols again. No, but the thing is, guy, got song choice. I can't know there's genres, mm. and then I grew up very, like, very uh, reserved and in my corner. So I wasn't even really. Um, I didn't. Know, for me, when I entered idols, my my mom had passed away. My my brother had passed away. Yeah. And then I stayed home, Kukimbali, with my dad yeah. for a year, I think. Um, no, three years. And then I was like, no, man, it's time for me now. Yo. Yeah. It's time to Come start. On. I need to start. Yeah. You know, my dad is doing okay. He's settled. I need to start building now. I need to figure out where I'm going. Mm. So entering was like a way out and an opportunity to explore this industry I wanted to be in. But I didn't want to just give it to fellow like Arboning. Yeah. So I, it was more of a strategy. Um, so when I came in and all these songs and the theme that week when I got voted off was uh, the, the genre was was rock. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, Pink is an incredible artist. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the ins- also the insecure 25-year-old yeah, 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 and yeah. Uh, uncertainty. And, you know, acting has really helped me come out of my shell. Uh, I, I used to be very, very insecure, very yeah. shy, very yeah, yeah, insecure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I agree. This song, I, I was going to kill it. No, no, no. Dead. <laughs> I agree. 
Um, everything you have done and that have set you up to be the actress that you are has the Fergusons in it. Mm. From mm. the wild, mm. the legacy, mm. Mm. losing Shona, mm. your eulogy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's like losing a brother again. Yeah. Yeah. And you've experienced it with your with your parents, with your with your brother, and now you're losing it with sort of you know adopted extended family. Mm. Are are you comfortable with loss now? Mm. I don't know if it's if it's if it's comfortable or if it's numb, mm. and you just like don't allow yourself to feel because Eish. when I um, went through the loss in my family, I told myself I'm not going to feel because once you feel everything, you know, you go through the motions of feeling, yeah, which is dangerous. Yeah. Um, so I, I actually spent the last few months this year only mm. dealing with that loss of 16 years back. Are you for real? I never dealt with it. Um, sure. And, and I covered up, covered up, covered. And I think what Mr. Show's passing did, it just ripped a plaster. Oh, yeah. You know, because it's like there, but you put a plaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just, it, it, it just ripped the plaster and I had to start now dealing. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, sure. I just feel, you know, and then there's the guilt of we didn't spend enough time. I didn't learn enough. I didn't make it mm -hmm. count. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, it was, it was, it's still hard. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's only been like a month and mm -hmm. it feels like, mm -hmm. feels like a lifetime ago, but it also feels like yesterday. Yes. Um, yeah, it was, it was like, it is like losing a brother. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about loss, you also lost your hair yes i did <laughs> <laughs> i did i did and i still do uh it, you know it's a it's mine is a genetic condition which i'm trusting will disappear okay but um it's so it's an ongoing journey and i think there's a level of really being so secure in who i am mm. that helped me i think that's helped even regrow my hair guys self acceptance is yeah. It's a flex. It's, it's big. Because the moment I went, so what? The hair yeah. grew back. I was like wow. you, so, like you, like so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. She's king. If this is the new me. Let it be. And not only let it be, but I'm going to, because, you know, the, I'm going to quote the scripture, but it says, um, you know, the, the power of sin is in its secrecy. And not that she's mm. sin, but the power of a battle. When you're fighting a battle, it's in fighting it privately. It's the hiding. It has control over you. If you keep oh, yeah. on putting the wig and no one knows, or you're fighting whatever battle, but you don't talk about it, that thing controls you. So the moment I went, hey, guys, so this happened. There's nothing that could, it didn't have any power over me anymore. So I was able to address it, deal with it. My hair grew back. Certain spots I still struggle with, and it's an ongoing thing. You have to become so in touch with what your body's telling you that you can feel okay. It's a holistic thing, isn't it? It is, absolutely. But let's go through the journey. Mm. So what did you normally do to your hair? I mean, so it's not even so much that... So mine is genetic and it was underlying, but there's definitely bad hair practices that I practiced mm -hmm. over the years that mm -hmm. contributed to the... And it's a big problem. It's yeah. a big, big problem. And since I have my daughter who's got an, a massive afro... I decided, no, man, I've got to equip myself. Because I, I think, Rona, as, as, as women, black women, at times we are more equipped to straighten. Yes. Blow dry. Yes. But you actually, when you have your natural hair, you don't know. How do I maintain it? How do I... Yeah. What is a yeah. protective hairstyle and yeah. all those kind of things? So I used to relax. I bleached. So I had this situation where I fell pregnant with my second and I was bored. I'm like, I want to bleach my hair. Yeah. 16 applications of peroxide. 16 by a hairstylist and I think that that sort of started the problem then I went and gelled and it's just bad things I did that I didn't know were causing trauma and I think that that is the issue with a lot of us um, as, as, as women black women we're causing a lot of trauma and unfortunately the results are starting to show and what's happening the studies are showing that 
because more of us are able now to afford wigs, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the problem is being is getting worse because now not only are we wearing more wigs and causing a problem, but if there is a problem, you cover it up with a wig which makes it worse Aha. and makes it permanent. So, sure. yeah, I think now I'm an advocate for not even so much natural hair, but just being empowered to, to, to make better choices. Wear it, it's your crown. Embrace it, it's your crown. Absolutely. But like you're saying, how much do we know on how to take care of our natural, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And isn't that where the power lies? There's a lot of power in that. I think, um, you know, I still wear wigs uh, when I have a bad hair day, so I'm not against yes. it. Yeah. But it's a no- knowing what to do underneath the wig, you know. Um, yeah. At first, I don't sew it in. I, yeah, I... That's another story. But I also realized with my daughter, because she came back from school once and she's like, Mommy, my hair doesn't do this. And she shakes it. <laughs> when I shake my head, my hair doesn't do this. That's when I realized, oh, no, 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 no. So she's watching Mika wig and the wig oh. does this. And then she watches her friends. Yes. And I realized, oh, I need to start being the example and living the example so that she can be confident, confident and comfortable. Oh, sure. no, you, your hair is beautiful like that. And if you want to change it up every now and then, it's okay. It's okay. But as you are, gorgeous. Perfect, yeah. yeah. You are the Zuleika Patel. It, absolutely. Absolutely. That's amazing. And now, that, this led obviously to you then starting the vodcast, right? Yeah, because I felt like... So when I went public, I had like a ton of women inboxing me, um, asking me where did I go, what did I use. Oh. Um, and obviously, it's not a one-size-fits-all, so I always yes, advocate yes. for... Um, a professional diagnosis from a dermatologist because there's different types of hair loss. So I always say, I can't tell you what I use. So go see a dermatologist so she can properly diagnose what you have, okay. how far it's progressed. And based on that, she'll give you the treatment. But I just felt the need to create this conversation for women to start talking about. It's such a sensitive topic, but once you start talking about it, it's actually it's not as sensitive because suddenly you realize I'm not alone and there are ways we can equip ourselves to prevent ourselves from getting to Chiscop. We're living in the days when in the public mm. there are certain things we can't say mm. because it feels like you're oppressed or it feels like you are backward. Mm. But I'm going to ask it anyway. Okay. How much then does your partner have as a say mm. when it comes to your hair? Mm. Because he has preferences as well, yes. based on how you look and yes. how you wear it. Yes. And how much of that influences what you must do to your hair? Yeah. Because because I can tell you now, mm. there are women who says he likes it like this. Mm. Mm. Whether it is for her good, yeah. like you said, or to her detriment, he likes that it is, like that it. is that is yeah that's deep i know <laughs> <That's> deep. <laughs> but it's one of those things yeah. that we have to put on the table no isn't it's it? true it's true absolutely and i guess it can go both ways because we also have preferences yes um but i think that i think you know how you start in a relationship really sets the tone for where it goes how it goes i mean oh. i lost my hair i had a chunk this big at the top of my head the, your preference at that point is like, hey, yeah. it's wrong, man. It's yeah. like, I have a, like yeah. a whole nest yes. on top of my head. The ladies, they try to braid it and cover it. Um, and then the, 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 the circle got bigger. Made the circle bigger and the, the chunk just, it was this big. Now I'm just left with hair, yeah. yeah. So I go back to the same. I was like leading, leading ah, no, 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 no. Having an uncle in the furniture business. No, no, no. No. No, but then I went to the salon uh, to, um, to remove the braids and then the circle was bigger and I was like, chop it off. So I came home. Hi. Hey. Duela. My daughter was like, what, 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 what happened? Why do you look like daddy? And I'm like, no, I just, I wanted to do this actually. And so I think I'm very... I'm, I'm lucky yeah. to have really, you know, be in a relationship or being married to someone who... Yeah. Oh, it's a king. It, yeah, it yeah. is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. This is the situation. Yeah. You know. Umotwam is still. Ketile ketile. Thank you. It's not so. Finish. Yeah. Gail Baban and Activating the Fridays right here on Kaya 959 on the street on the air. Now that you are a singer, would you? Uh, that I'm a singer. 
I can, you can sing. I, yeah, I can, I can hold a note, yes. Yes. Would I what? Would you? Would I what? Comes out a smaller track one. Yes, I would. Yeah? I would. Oh, can you tell I would, for fun, <laughs> for fun, just to have fun. Yeah? Yeah. Aren't you worried that either one of your kids may take after the two of you and well, make it even worse? Well, like I said to you earlier, Gabon already with my with my daughter. And I'm like, yay, trying to just, but you know, you've got you've to um, feed whatever the desire is. So yeah. definitely I think my daughter is... Leaning towards the entertainment direction. Yeah, already. Already. And I normally say, and and this is this is the uh, the manifesto I use in parenting. Mm. Khalil Gibran, mm. the prophet, mm. when he speaks about the children, he says, "Parents, you are nothing but a bow. Mm. Yours is to pull and aim at the bull's eye because wow. the children are the arrows." Wow. That for me is like yo. They're no, not. That I is, brought them deep. through you. That is deep. And I think as parents, it's it's such an important place to get to because I think sometimes we want to live through mm-hmm. them. But they're here on their own agenda. Yes. And our job is to steer them in Thank that direction. You. So the bullseye, whatever that is. Whatever it is. Yeah. It's about giving. You aiming. are the springboard. Yeah. Absolutely. That's that's deep. What's next that's for so you? so good. So, I mean. You, before you answer that. Yes. So peace can type cast a person. Yeah. Are you happy you broke out of that in terms of what blood and water has given you? Mm. Sort of gave you the, an opportunity to show the other side in terms of your depth and width? Absolutely. I, I mean, I, I did The Wild as a soap mm-hmm. um, and then I did The Road, which was also like a telenovela. Mm-hmm. So I think there's a lot that I was able to do outside of that. But blood and water definitely, I think, um, has shifted the, the direction for me yes. I think more than anything soaps are great mm. but you, when you're playing a character for five years yeah. the same character yeah. it can get like whew, you, you just need some creativity to yes. flow yes. and that's what the, the aw- what's awesome about series um, so yeah Blood and Water great great opportunity I'm very grateful there's for a movie as well right there is a shot in Afrikaans film Indemnity Afrikaans ekprat. I get to Kimbali so Ekprat Saver Afrikaans. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> very excited, you know, for everyone to see the Afrikaans film. And I full on Afrikaans film. What? Indemnity. I'm really excited about it. Very, very excited. Um th- that's sure. also a side of me that I think I've never I've yeah. explored. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So you're fluent in it? Yeah, yes the tal. I went no. to an African school. It was my first. I did all. Aardrijkskunde, rekeningkunde, wiskunde. Those were my subjects in school. So English, I faked it till I made it. <laughs> I, yeah. It's like, yo. And I was like, yo. Wow. I, I acted my way into speaking English. Jesus. That's how I am here today. But kukimbele on sprat, rabuwa. And yeah, now we talk. <laughs> so, so should I watch Indemnity? Yeah, so it, it's an incredible film. It's a film about PTSD, um, also by Gambit Films, who also did um, Blood and Water. Um, and in, a very, very good film. I think the story is an important story to tell, yeah. just about post-traumatic tra- traumatic stress disorder. But it's Afrikaans, but there'll be subtitles. Okay. Yeah, no Shomlan Dan- Dandala's in it. Ah. Um, you know. What about Italian? I can say what about I, 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 I'm not, I, have a sh- I haven't shot a lot of scenes with him. Yeah. Mark, I think, no, you know, we are Ted. Oh. Yeah, we are Ted. Mm. No. So I'm excited. I'm excited about that. Blood and Water hits goes live on the 24th of September, which is wow really exciting. Yes. So just yes. a few more yes. weeks to go. Yes, and then I'm gonna continue on this hair journey and uh, wonderful empowering women and 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 just sharing more knowledge and information and putting stuff in in our hands that we can that can help us on this journey. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gail, keep shining. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Thanks for having me. For breaking the shell. Yay. No, thank you. Thanks for having me. Love to you and the family always. Thank you. And to you too as well. Keep shining, my dear. Thank you. There you have it. That is Gail Mabalani.